Welcome to a code report video. In this video, we're going to cover the top programming languages of 2023, revisit my 2023 predictions. There were three of them, and we're gonna make three new predictions for 2024. So first things first, we are looking at the rankings. As of one year ago, almost to the day, I made a video on January 15th, 16th, 2023. Today is January 15th, 2024. There will be a link in the description if you haven't seen the video called Top Programming Languages of 2022. So these are the rankings as of a year ago. And as of today, these are the rankings for January 2024, kind of summarizing the rankings for the year 2023. So there's been absolutely no changes in the top 10. It's from number one to 10 in order, JavaScript, Python, Java, TypeScript, C Sharp, C++, PHP, C, Shell, and Go. And then from 11 to 20th, we've had a few changes, but no new languages. So every language that was in the top 20 in 2022 is still in the top 20 for 2023. So from 11 to 20, that is Rust, Kotlin, Swift, Ruby, R, PowerShell, Dart, Lua, Scala, and Objective-C. So what were my three predictions for the year of 2023? My first one was that Python was going to become the number one language when averaged across the four main sites, Stack Overflow, Octoverse, Redmonk, and Language. As we can see, that did not come true. So JavaScript is still the number one language. Python actually, on average, has, I think, gone up from 2.25 to 2. So it did increase a slight amount, but it did not overtake JavaScript. So I was over one on my first prediction. My second prediction, I believe, was that Rust was going to enter the top 10 programming languages, which of course it did not. It did not fall, but it also did not jump into the top 10. So I'm over two. However, my third prediction was that for the Octoverse rankings, which only has a top 10, that Ruby, which was previously in the number 10 slot, was going to drop down and there was going to be a language that replaced it. Sure enough, that is the case. Go has entered the top 10 according to the Octoverse programming language rankings. And you can see that I also commented that because of this, Ruby was going to fall in the rankings, which of course it did. It fell two spots from the number 12 language to the number 14 language. So I was one for three, which is unfortunate. That's pretty bad. I'm going to now make three new predictions, technically two, and one of them I'm gonna keep the same. So my first prediction is going to be the same as my second prediction of 2023, which is that Rust is going to enter the top 10 programming languages. My second prediction for 2024 is going to be that Objective-C falls out of the top 20. What language that'll be replaced with, I have no idea, but I'm pretty confident Objective-C is gonna fall out because Swift is climbing in popularity while Objective-C falls down the rankings. And my third and final prediction, you'll note that previously when I made the 2022 version of this video, I did not have this combo box here. So you can filter by functional languages, system languages, and of course my favorite paradigm, array languages. So this is gonna be the most bold of the predictions. My prediction is that one or both of BQN and WeWa will hit the GitHub requirement to be recognized as a programming language and will show up on this ranking list currently because it does not have meet the requirements that GitHub states. They are not recognized as programming languages. And on top of this, this isn't really to do with rankings, but I predict that either one of WeWa or BQN will get a package manager. All right, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed, hope you learned something. If you wanna play around with this website, with the averages, check out what's in the top 10, top 20, head over to plrank.com and we will see you in the next video.